Some of the first reported COVID-19 cases in the U.S. were of patients at a long-term care facility in Washington state. And the novel coronavirus continues to infiltrate nursing homes, spreading like wildfire. Well, this week, the Center for Medicare and Medicaid Services Administrator Seema Verma announced that the Trump administration would begin requiring nursing homes to report confirmed coronavirus cases directly to the CDC, a move applauded by long-term care providers. Here to discuss this further is a former governor of Kansas who is now the CEO of the American Healthcare Association and National Center for Assisted Living, Mark Parkinson. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. So your organization, which represents over 13,000 nursing homes and long-term facilities, praised the Trump administration in its move to contain the spread of COVID-19. What other measures need to be implemented to combat the spread of the coronavirus in assisted living facilities? Well, it's a great question. And you know, this has been an unbelievable challenge. The, the battle, as you point out, is being fought in skilled nursing facilities and assisted living buildings across the country. Uh, the workers, let me just start out by saying the workers have been incredible. They continue to work around the clock, double shifts, putting their own lives at risk and really being heroic. But as we've indicated, they need help. And the two areas that we need help are testing uh, and equipment. Now, there is good news today. The administration has helped us out this week on both. The White House has announced that nursing home residents will now be at the very highest priority for testing. And the vice president announced to the governors earlier this week that equipment will be shipped directly to all 15,000 nursing homes. So we think that's gonna help a lot. There's one more thing that we need. Um, Health and Human Services now has a whole bunch of money to fight COVID from the Stimulus Act. And we really need it to create a fund specifically for residents and staff of skilled nursing facilities, just like it's done for hospitals. With what the administration has done on testing and equipment, and if it can do that, we can make this a lot better. There are folks in these facilities that are recovering, that are getting better. And if you give us the tools that we need, we can make this turn out much better. And it sounds like the government, as you pointed out, is doing everything in its can to help, everything it can to help nursing facilities and healthcare providers out. How can we be sure that those in charge of living facilities are being transparent in reporting accurate numbers to the CDC of patients who have COVID-19? Well, the providers really want to report this information because without the ability to report it, there's two problems. First of all, family members and other residents aren't aware of the situation and we want them to be aware. So I really think that from day one, if you go all the way back to Kirkland, you'll find that the providers have been letting family members and residents know. But more important than that, we need the government officials who can help us know. And until now, until what Seema Verma announced earlier this week, there hadn't been a way to report it to the federal government. We want that reporting mechanism because once we have a report of a positive case, we really need the cavalry to come in. We need lots of equipment and lots of testing and possibly additional workers. And so that's the reason that we're so supportive of the move that she's taken this week. Absolutely, and we know that nursing homes account for such a high percentage of the death toll. How do we stem the spread throughout them? Well, we can, we, we can stop this. I mean, if you look across the globe, unfortunately in elder care settings all over the place, whether it's Europe or Canada or the United States, there's been a real problem. I actually think that retrospectively, when we look at this, we will see that facilities in the United States have done a pretty good job. And we can do a really good job if we have what we need. And you know that again, that's testing, it's equipment, and it's the resources that we need to fight the battle. We can still win this thing. We just need the country to rally around us. And as a result, the actions taken by the White House this week are very helpful. And lastly, I wanna ask you, there are reports that some states are considering turning nursing homes into recovery centers for COVID-19 patients. Officials say the move aims to house residents who still might be contagious or lack immunity. What's your take on this proposal? Well, I think there were some mistakes early on by some of the governors that forced COVID positive patients from hospitals into every nursing home, whether the nursing home had equipment or testing or not. I think a more rational plan is what we're seeing now, which is to set up facilities that are specifically for COVID positive patients that really have the know-how and the equipment and the testing to take care of it. Uh, and I also think that you're seeing now a lot of wings being set up in facilities to take care of this. And I really think that's much better than residents being forced into every facility, whether they're ready or not. Want to see more videos like this? 
Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.